People are always asking, what's your favorite part about your home? I love so many different things, but what I love the most is when it looks like absolutely no one lives here. Want to make your home look expensive? Then don't have artwork that looks like this. Instead, you're going to want to measure the length and width of your wall, and then multiply each one of those by 0 0.60 and 0 0.75 to get the appropriate range for your artwork. So here's how it looks with a 60 by 72 inch canvas. I'm adding a new chair to my apartment. Hey guys, it's your favorite TikTok vlogger and it looks like you've stuck around long enough to find out, but we all have a spot where we kind of just throw clothes when we don't feel like folding or cleaning up and it's typically a chair or your bed. And I've always kind of wanted an aesthetic seating area in my room. So enter the chair. I got it from Urban Outfitters. They tend to have a lot of stuff that I just love. I think it fits my vibe so well. I just really don't know exactly where I want it. I am gonna have to move some stuff around to make it fit nice. So let's do it. If that radiator wasn't there, that would be a good spot, but it is, so it's not. Let's move this money tree and this mirror and see what we can do it's really not working in any direction that i face the chair so i think the plant has to go for now it's a bit of an awkward position i'm thinking this corner is the best spot and we'll just dress it up a little bit definitely yes that's perfect i just really need to add some art but today everything in my house is really minimal i find that there's so much chaos out in the world that when i come home i want it to be just really quiet and i want everything to all right, so let's do this again. This is my second time buying this mirror. The first one fell, but I liked it so much I had to buy it again. Let's get into the box. So I picked up this oversized mirror from Overstock.com. I got the one with the gold edge, but they do come in plenty of other colors. Usually you'll see rectangle mirrors, but I think the arch gives a different vibe. So glad I re-upped on the mirror. I think it ties my hallway together perfectly. Let's turn my apartment living room from drab to fab, part four. I finally got an olive tree. I've been waiting for this for so long, but of course, just my luck, it arrived broken. But I'm still gonna make it work. I added in boxes and bubble wrap to help give it more height in the vase and to stabilize it, and then I covered it up. It still turned out just how I imagined, so I am happy. Welcome to my new series called I would love to live in a model home, but I got real people that live with me So I'm gonna do the best I can with what I got, you know, model homes just have that vibe They're well decorated. They're organized. They're always so inviting. That's the vibe I want for my house in 2023 So one thing I think I've learned about entry tables is that you should fill them with things that serve no actual purpose in your home But are cute like why would I just have two spare books on a table in real life? Gotta have an Amazon plug because we put Alexa to work over here Lastly for this bottom part I'm thinking either keep the shelf and put baskets or remove the shelf and put ottomans what do you think? Day 13 of designing my home with only secondhand furniture and decor. Remember my coffee table fiasco? I found this gorgeous coffee table for free and then tragically shattered it. Well, I finally found a replacement and somehow it's another postmodern table that was listed for free. I'm really excited about this one because I wanted something curvy to match the sofa and I don't have to worry about accidentally breaking this one. I also finally found a media unit for $150 from Facebook Marketplace. Our home is really coming together and today I picked up my best find yet i can't wait to show you in the next video on one side perfection another side perfection third side perfection This is your vibe. I want to be friends.
I want to be by myself. This is what I'm craving, and I'm not lonely. Like, this is all my. People are always asking, what's your favorite part about your home? I love so many different things, but what I love the most is when it looks like absolutely no one lives here.